Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning, Joan London. Hi, Valder. How are you? Welcome back to the Valder BB Show. Thank you so much for joining us today. You're always a welcome guest. Oh, it's a, my pleasure. Well, you're talking about something new today. Tell me about Netflix. Well, I mean, Netflix, when you get onto Netflix, it just opens up this whole new world of entertainment, especially during the summertime when there's reruns on, and you come home and you're just like, you tear your hair out, like, what am I going to watch? Um, as soon as you sign up for Netflix, you never say that again. And it's so easy. All you have to do is go to Netflix.com. You put in your uh, email and your zip code, and you use a credit card and you sign up. And it's probably the best entertainment value going today. And what's really great is it's got all these classic kind of TV shows like Frasier and you know, um, uh, friends, and like even things like this month, Twin Peaks is on. Do you remember that? I mean, it's oh, been, of course. from 1990, <laughs> 1991. It was only on for two years. It was kind of before its time. Yeah, I think we're kind of dating ourselves too. I, I know that. <laughs> it was good, though. It was a really good show. It was funny. And, and all the current ones, everything from Scandal to uh, Grey's Anatomy to... Uh, one I love, Madam Secretary. One I love, Law and Order, SVU. Like these are all, all these episodes for all these shows live now on Netflix. But there's other, there are other things coming every month, every day, new content comes on. So which is, who are some of your favorite stars you're seeing on Netflix that, you know, made you so uh, gregarious about them? Well, first of all, there's a movie that's coming on this month. Again, it's one that's been around for a while, but you have, nobody's seen it for a while. It's Chocolat. Did you ever see that? No, you make me think water for chocolate, but that's not what you Juliette Binoche and uh, Johnny Depp and this, like, you know, young woman who's kind of uh, got a joie de vivre and kind of out there, goes into, like, a repressive little French town, and it's supposed to be a romantic show, but what it is written to me is how she changes everyone in this town. It's a beautiful film. Um, also, Finding Neverland, and that's got Kate Winslet and Dustin Hoffman, and again, uh, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp yeah. actually plays A.J. Barry, and that whole thing is about, I saw the stage production of this also, and it was great. Uh, he plays A.J. Barry, who is the playwright who wrote Peter Pan. But this is the whole story, the backstory of what transpired that gave him the inspiration to write Peter Pan. Um, it's a beautiful movie that you can sit down and watch with your whole family. I, can, I, I love those stories that are quality stories. And you, you, you answered my next question. Is this going to be family friendly for people yes. that have multiple people in their family? My husband and I watch it. But our kids, like you, were probably in empty nesters. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've got, you know, twins who are 13 and twins oh, who twins are 15. Oh, the twins are still at home. <laughs> yeah. And so it's, I mean, a movie like that is perfect at our house. Um, and also, if people have young ki children, there's a great series on. It's actually, I think, season two of the series. It's called Anne with an E. And what it is, is you'll remember, the, it's the book, uh, Anne of Green Gables. Yes. And oh, this I love is, that. But, well, this is the TV show version of it. It is shot so beautifully. Um, I highly recommend watching this show. I watched this. Uh, I started watching it, you know, for, for this gig, and I what, didn't have any kids around. I ended up watching, like, five episodes. It's just, <laughs> it's just done so beautifully. A um, good guilty pleasure. And I'm a fanatic about... Um, documentaries. I love documentaries. And if you love documentaries, I do. you will go crazy 
on Netflix because there are a million documentaries and they're good. They're really good. Uh, one that's coming on this month is called um, The Bleeding Edge, and it's all about the $400 billion medical device industry. And, you know, you always think of the pharma, pharma you know, with, you know, pills that we take. This is all the things that are implanted inside people, you know, who oh. have a knee knee replacement or hip replacement or all the, there's all, I try to remember the statistic from the, from the in, uh, documentary. It's like in the last 10 years, 79 million Americans have had medical devices implanted in them. But the regulations on these things to get them on the market and into your body is Incredible. way I too know. easy, like oh. way too easy. So there are all these people who have incredible health problems because of the devices that were supposed to go in and make their all life so much better. All right. So it's, it's educational, it's fun, it's entertaining, yeah. it's family-oriented. So you just simply go online, yep. go to Netflix.com, yep. put in your email, Give them your credit card information, and you're ready to go. And put in your zip code. And, and your zip code. And it is so easy. And then they just take you through the prompts. But I think a lot of people, you know, kind of in my generation, I was a latecomer to this, admittedly, and because I thought it was going to be hard to do. And I guess I thought maybe it was for millennials. And then I got on, and I was like, whoa, why didn't I do this sooner? Um, it's really actually very easy. And you know what? If, it, if you're intimidated... Have one of your kids do it. <laughs> ah, that's usually always the answer. Joan London, yes. thank you always for talking about such an important topic. What else are you up to lately? Oh, I mean, well, I'm, you know, I'm always out there, very involved in the medical field, uh, in the breast cancer world. Uh, you know, sometimes things happen to you in, your, in life that aren't great, but they open up new opportunities for you. Uh, and certainly having a breast cancer diagnosis did that for me. Um, I also went through, I'm a, what do you call it? The, I'm a sandwich generation. I not only have kids, but I took care of my mom. And, and from going through that experience, I got very involved in the, uh, the senior care world. So I do a lot of work that, you know, it's interesting. Most of the things I do, um, I do them because they're, they're appropriate, they're organic, they're authentic, and those are the best things to get involved in. I mean, this, this was perfect. I mean, I was one of those, I was the perfect person that came late to it, discovered it, got super excited by the, oh my God, look what all is here for me to watch. Well, so you can lead the rest I now of us. share it with you. Thank you so much, Joan London, for Netflix, and we're going to try, try, I have it, but I want my audience to try it, so I can't think of a better spokesperson than Joan London to lead the way. Joan, please come back because I know you're doing great things with Netflix. Thanks for being my Absolutely guest on the Melbourne Show. It's been my pleasure. Bye bye.